What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new, I'm uh, 41 years old, judoka, been doing martial arts my whole life. And uh, yeah, I'm also a personal trainer. I do online training, I train people in the gym. Obviously, uh, I enjoy training myself too, right? So um, in this video, I wanna talk about fasting. So I wanna give you guys my two cents on that. Is it good, is it not good? Uh, and um, you know everything in between right so I see a lot of people on uh, you know social media <clears throat> talking about fasting and it's like the, the thing to lose weight right and listen guys it's not the thing to lose weight the thing is it's it's essentially a eating schedule that's what it is right so I mean if you're telling yourself okay I'm not Let's say I stop eating at 8 p.m. and then I essentially don't eat, right, fast uh, for the rest of the evening and then up until noon the next day, that gives me a 16-hour uh, fast, okay? So that, it just means that you're not eating for 16 hours and then your eating window, uh, most people do it that way. So from 8 p.m. until 12 uh, p.m. the next day, they don't eat anything, right? So then they're fasting. And then they start then that their eating window is from 12 until 8 now that's just um, so what that does is that it just restricts the amount of time that that's available for them to eat right so just by restricting that right it, it just it schedules people's minds it schedules them up and they actually eat it, end up eating less okay so for the most part it works because for, for weight loss Okay, for the most part, it works because people are um, well eating less simply because they're fault. They're, they they have a schedule, right? It's as simple as that. Now, here's the thing too: some people don't lose weight on fasting when they and, and they do the fast, right? And here's why: like the danger is that if you fast, you're gonna be hungry. Like you wake up. Let's say you wake up at uh, okay. You you stop eating at 8 p.m. You sleep, let's say you uh, you know, you know sleep around whatever, let's say 10 o'clock, get up around six, and then you just wait, you're hungry, you're hungry. By the time noon comes, you're so freaking hungry, you know? And this could happen, like everybody's different in the way they're able to gauge it, right? But you're so hungry that you easily you overeat. You overeat, so if you overeat, well guess what? At the end of the day, it's calories in, calories out. So if you overeat at noon, or you eat a fuck ton at noon okay you eat a shit ton at noon so what happens is that you um you consume like uh, uh 1500 calories in one sitting after that you're full and then after that like uh you eat, eat a little something uh, later on around uh three four o'clock or whatever and then after that in the evening you're like oh man i'm gonna i'm gonna eat a lot i'm gonna eat a lot and i'm not gonna gain weight which is which is false right but I'm gonna eat a lot because I won't be able to eat until noon the next day. Well, guess what? If you if you if you ate for like uh, let's say three thousand calories, and you only burned off like about two thousand ish, you're in a caloric surplus. So you're gonna get you're gonna get fat. Simple as that, right? So now uh, on the other side, like it has been proven that fasting is very beneficial. Oh, by the way, I'm. It's getting hot where I uh, uh, where I am, right? Summer's coming up, like we're uh, mid uh, mid May right now. So I mean, you know, it's uh, June's right around the corner. So it's starting to get warmer and stuff like that. I have my windows open and uh, it's still hot in here. So I haven't turned on the AC. So that's why I'm like just you know like bah, whatever. Anyways, it's not it's not like if I never do anything with my shirt off. <laughs> okay, so that's the thing. So now. Uh, it does have benefits for longevity, you know, because it you know it cleans up your system and all that, and it gets rid of like uh, uh, it kind of like gives your your body uh, the right term is uh, the, the 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 technical term for it is auto autophagy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but essentially like your body's clearing up dead uh, dead cells and stuff like that, and it's like you know kind of doing a little detox and. And, and uh, you know, it activates the survival circuit in your body. So it has some very good longevity uh, benefits to it, right? But that being said, okay, like uh, it's good if you do it for that reason. But if you're doing it for weight loss, 
you're, you got it twisted if you think that you're losing uh, fat because you're fasting. No, it's not. It's just because you're eating less. You're eating less because you're on a schedule, which before you didn't have a schedule, so you'd eat whatever the hell you want and you would easily like just, you know, uh, pass your, uh, uh, you would be in a caloric uh, surplus. It's, it's that, that's it. That's all it is. I, you know, so don't, don't get crazy over it and think, oh yeah, fasting has some kind of miracle effect on, on, on fat loss. It doesn't. You eat too much. And some people actually, like, uh, they, they, they don't lose anything on 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 on, uh, on fasting just for, for the reasons I mentioned, right? Because by the time it's uh, by the time it's time for them to eat, they go crazy, man. And if they, uh, you know, and and of course if they um, if they eat unhealthy foods, foods that are high in calories, right, and low in uh, nutrients and, and proteins and fibers and all that. I mean, man, oh yeah, it's so easy. It's so easy to eat. Like, uh, you, you ever guys ever notice if you eat like donuts, you could just eat like a box easily, right? Most people are like that. I'm like that. Like if I start eating a, a box of Krispy Kreme and you put down another box, like we're talking a box of like six, 12 or whatever, I could, I'll kill that shit. I'll destroy it. I'll destroy it. It's like, it's like cocaine, man. You just keep going back, you know? It actually has the same effect on your brain. It stimulates the same areas in your brain, whether you take cocaine or sugar. So all I'm saying is that, yeah, man, like with, with foods that are um, simple carbs, right? So essentially junk food, um, you know, it's very easy to overeat, man, because it, it's, it's sugar, man. That's what it is. It's, it's like, a, it, it's, 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 it's pure crack for us, you know? And that's why people have such a hard time. It's because you're, you're eating just way too many empty calories, you know? Um, and, and that's it. So if you have a, like a, a hard time controlling yourself and, and on top of that, you eat, uh, uh, you eat like uh, high calorie dense foods and low nutrients and stuff like that. Well, guess what? Like even if you, even if you fasted for uh, for sixteen hours, it doesn't matter, man. It's just gonna make you uh, even more crazy when it's time to eat. So fasting is not the way to go. Like so, if you do fasting, then uh, uh, it's good for your body, right? For your cells, your body to clear out and stuff like that. But the thing is, if you exercise really intensely, it does the same thing as fasting, as in uh, auto autophagy, right? So it clears out blood, uh, 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 dead cells and stuff like that. It cleans up your system, you know? And also, dude, like guys, everyone thinks there's something miracle, right? But at the basis of it, if you gotta get enough sleep, if you're not getting enough sleep, forget about it. Like everything else just goes to, goes to shits, right? So you have to get enough sleep right? You have to exercise regularly and you always have to exercise hard, right? Harder than the last time. And if you can't, well, you do what you can, but you always have to push yourself essentially, right? And then from there, you have to hydrate properly. And of course you have to eat, uh, well, you know, healthy-ish foods, right? For the most part, because that's the basis of everything. If you don't have that right and you try other stuff, it's just like you're trying to, um, um, wait, I'm, I'm looking for an analogy here, but you're majoring in minors, right? So you're trying to take care of the stuff that's not really going to make a difference or, or a very, a very small temporary kind of thing when you don't want, you, you're not, you're not doing the important stuff, the big stuff, the stuff that will actually give you. Uh, the results that you want in terms of being more healthy and stuff like that. So of course, if you're not exercising and then you're like, oh, I'm going to fast. Dude, exercise. If you're not getting enough sleep, sleep. You know, if you're if you're eating uh, and if you're doing the crazy shit like uh, eating once a day, not good. Same idea too. Anyways, that's for another video. I don't want to make this video too long, but essentially what I'm saying is that fasting is beneficial for longevity. It is not for weight loss. If you're losing weight, it's you're in a caloric deficit and that's it. It's just that it's an eating schedule and because you're on an eating schedule, you're more disciplined so you eat less for the mo for the most part. Most people when they do fasting, that's why they're losing weight. But you're not losing weight because you're fasting. It, 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 it's not that. Dude, it's just caloric deficit. That's all it is. You're eating less than you usually do. But if you're not losing weight and you're fasting, it's not a million things, guys. It's just one thing. It's essentially too much calories you're in a caloric surplus that's it and that could happen too so for for all the people who are doing like intermittent fasting and stuff like that i'm like i'm, I'm for it but not for the same reasons right do i fast now i don't fast i work out so hard that 
dude, my, my, <laughs> I'm 41. Look at me. <laughs> you know, so, and, and it's not just like, yeah, it's genetics, but too, but I, it's because I know what I'm doing and because I sleep a lot. And I notice that, man, when I don't sleep, oof, man, things go, things like after about, uh, let's see, and I'm the type of person that needs about um, uh, eight to nine hours, you know, to really feel supercharged and feel good. But then I'm more productive that way. Like if I don't get my eight hours plus, man, like uh, after about a week or two weeks of that, you could see wrinkles and shit and, uh, you know, my moods, my mood goes up and down. So it's not a good thing, man. So everybody's different in regards to sleep, right? But um, for the most part, most people need anywhere between seven to nine hours, I would say. Uh, some people, some rare people are able to get away with six, right? Um, but um, for most, for the most part, it's anywhere between seven to nine for most people. So you have to test that out. Me, I, I tested out new, on numerous occasions. I was getting up at four in the morning. I was getting, you know, but uh, I actually enjoyed getting up at four in the morning. I was making videos on that. But the problem with that was that I wasn't able to, uh, to get to bed on time. Logistically, it was complicated for me uh, to get to bed and to be out like a light at eight. Because that's the thing. It's not just time in bed. It's the quality of sleep too. So for me to get a good eight hours, I mean, I would have to be passed out at eight o'clock. You guys could already see how that could be a little bit uh, complicated, right? If you're working, you're doing things, uh, you know, you gotta, you have a dog to walk, you have to have dinner and you gotta, eh. so that's why uh, I'm not waking up at four in the morning now. So what I do now is that I get to bed around, I get to bed at, uh, uh, let's say around anywhere between 8.30 and nine. And after that I'm out and then from 10 to, you know, from that time until six in the morning, that's when I wake up, boom. So I get about eight to nine hours of sleep and I'm feeling great. And after that, when you sleep, remember the more you sleep, the less you're, you can't be eating when you're sleeping. So the more you sleep, the less you're eating. <laughs> well, actually you're not eating at all, but, and then when you feel good, you feel strong. After that, it's, um, yeah, man. Like, uh, then after that, it's all about eating regularly so that's for another video uh, i want to talk about too much stuff here because it will go on too long but just remember that's the thing guys you can't you know you can't you can't major in minors right so so the, yeah if you're if you're if you're fat it's because you're uh you're just eating too much calories you're not moving enough man that's it that's all i don't give a crap about your i don't give a shit about your metabolism stories and this and that like listen even if you have thyroid problems or uh, or hormonal problems, or, or you're old, or whatever, and stuff like that. Man, if I throw you in a cage right now, right? And I and I, you know, I, I literally throw you in a cage right now, like in jail, like in a cell. I throw you in a cell, and then after that, I'm like, all right, man, I'm gonna, you know, make you exercise, friggin' three hours a day, bro. You know, one hour and a half in the morning, one hour and a half at night, right? Gonna give you some books, gonna feed you water, some vegetables, man, and a little bit of protein and some clean car, like some complex carbs, you know, and I'll feed you when I feel like it, which is I'm gonna feed you three times a day with uh, protein every time, and then, you know, give you a couple of snacks, make you exercise and move all the time. Or I just decide to starve you out, like let's say, well, I could starve you out even if I feed you like that many times, right, in terms of calories. So like if you're eating 2,000 cal, like let's say you needed, for example, 2,500 calories a day, right, then, and I, and I, and I, gave you 1500 guess what you're gonna lose weight so never mind your hormone problems your thyroid problems your age or whatever whatever hell you think is really the excuses that you come up with that are somewhat valid in terms of uh why you're not losing weight you're losing weight buddy you're losing weight trust me man look at look at people in concentration camps like in the pow's and stuff like that like in in the past called starvation man if I starve you out you're gonna lose weight man so it's not that complicated if you're so it's taking you to an extreme but what I'm saying is that if you don't eat enough calories and you're in a deficit for extended periods of time you will lose weight that's it that's all it is guys all right oh like the uh, like the video comment subscribe and of course uh, care, uh, sharing is caring helps to grow the channel thank you very much guys see you guys in the next one Peace.